social media, follow our handles and also share your thoughts and comments with us. Um, this week we've been following the story of Rita Awuni, the 17-year-old teenage mother who um, was on the streets with her 10-month-old baby and um, Senyue Adadevo captured the scenes. Um, GBC News um, reporter Clara Milano followed up on the story to the school and had a chat with the, the young mother. We brought her on the program not to glorify teenage pregnancy, but to highlight a social concern of a, a teen mother who was in desperate need of help and support. And we are not glorifying what she has been through. She has recognized her mistake. And in addition, um, on the heels of that, the vice president sent an aid to offer her assistance. More help continues to come in. And this morning, another um, NGO is in the house at the breakfast table to also offer help. And Madame Efua Filsin Finn is head of finance and administration at the Youth Bridge Foundation. They are the latest to come to us with an offer for Rita. Madam, welcome. Thank you for having me. Um, what are you um, mm. hoping to provide to young Rita and her son? Thank you. So Youth Bridge Foundation is an independent, not-for-profit organization that is committed to youth development. Um, one of our strategic focus areas is education and training. And under that, we have a program named Youth Bridge Education and Mentorship Scheme, YBEMS for short, which provides holistic and targeted support to young people in the form of educational scholarship fund, after school support, mentoring, coaching, internships, and job placements. Um, currently, um, we have a Talo Oil Ghana funded program named Educate to in Innovate with STEM, which is focused in Western region of Ghana, where we promote, inspire, and sustain interest in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics education. We are very interested in progression, educational progression. And so at this moment, we thought of supporting young Rita Awuni to progress in her education. We are bringing on board volunteers, teacher volunteers who are to assess young Rita her preparedness towards the BC examination and provide extra tuition for her in the next few weeks up until she writes her BEC examination. We are also aware that there are other of her classmates that may be in need of such help. And so under our Educate to Innovate projects in the Western region, we have STEM clinic where we expose the students to science um, laboratory and we are bringing that science um, STEM clinic to her school, the Independence Avenue 2 JHS pupils, so that they will experience firsthand the practical lessons of um, science that should be provided along with their education. We understand that some of the students may not be aware, may not even have seen any of science practical lessons going on, and this is the, uh, the opportunity we are taking to take the students through those lessons so that before they enter the examinations, the upcoming BEC, they would have understood. Right. I presume yes. that you have been in touch with, with Rita. How soon is this um, support going to take effect? The teacher volunteers are very ready at the moment to take off right from this week. And um, it will run immediately from mm -hmm. now till she writes her exams. And beyond that, is there another plan? Yeah, we are, we are asked, I have said, we are interested scholarship, in... Scholarship, mentorship, apprenticeship, and job placement. Yes. We are interested in her progression as well. And so the first stage is to support her to pass the exam, to be able to move on to senior high school. And we will continue to support her. As I've mentioned, we have a, a scholarship support where 
we, we will be able to support her through her education and continue with mentorship as well. Thank you so much, Eva. And thank you to the Youth Bridge Foundation for offering this, this service to Rita and extending it to, to the broader school community, Independent Avenue, to we are grateful to you for heeding the call for help for Rita and her classmates. Um, Madam Efwa Filson Finn is the head of finance and admin at the Youth Bridge Foundation. Thank you so much for appearing on the show. She is the, the organization, the NGO is one of the many who have reached out to us offering help for the young teenage mother and her school. This time we are told there is a volunteer group of teachers who are ready to help Rita prepare for her BEC and assess her situation going forward with regards to her education. And a STEM clinic is going to be made available to students of Independence Avenue 2. Madam Headmistress Ernestina Isidu, I know you'll be very excited for that. And so we'll keep receiving offers and keep um, keeping an eye on Rita's situation and we'll give you the needed details as and when we have them. You're watching Breakfast on GTV. And there's more ahead. Stay with us. Coming live from the capital, this is The Breakfast Show.